And they've gone without Masakalu, reared up in the stalls, sadly. Let's hope he's all right, being led away. Racing then for the Albasti Equiworld Dubai Dante Stakes Group 2 race. And it's White Wolf who takes them through the first furlong of ten and a half of them. On the outside, El Bodigon in the green and black stripes, sitting handy too is Bluegrass. Pulling hard on his outside is Dark Moon Rising. Then behind them is Royal Patronage racing alongside Desert Crown. King Max is held up. Frankie's got Magisterial locked away, sitting chilly in last place as they race on towards the seven furlong marker. He's probably about seven or eight lengths behind the pace setting. White Wolf in the hands of Danny Tudho. El Bodigon and Danny Musket racing close up in second. The only Group 1 winner in the lineup here. In third, then, is Bluegrass, Ryan Moore, followed by Dark Moon Rising. And then comes Royal Patronage, Desert Crown, at the rear of the field, racing together. King Max, who's settled nicely, together with Magisterial on his inside as they head down towards the final five furlongs of the contest here. So they've just gone past halfway in the Dante. And about seven lengths would cover them here as they race round towards the home straight. White Wolf still the leader. El Bodigon in his slipstream then as they race into the home straight here. On the outside, the nose-banded runner, but not in the derby, is Dark Moon Rising. Shaken up to Bluegrass on the inner. Raw Patronage is beginning to improve nicely into the race. And Desert Crown likewise. And King Max making his move on the outer as Frankie tries to improve on Magisterial on his inside. Anybody's Dante as they race up towards the final quarter mile. White Wolf on the inside. Here comes Royal Patronage with a challenge. And Desert Crown on the outside is grabbing the ground in eye catching fashion and has taken over. It's Desert Crown and Richard Kingscoke from Royal Patronage in second place. A battle on for third then with running on well King Max. But Desert Crown is the leader inside the final furlong of the Dante. He's up by about two lengths from Royal Patronage. And Desert Crown stamps his mark on the season. With a really fluent win. He's won it nicely. In second was Royal Patronage, then came Bluegrass, and fourth home, Dark Moon Rising. And the derby just now seems that bit more vital after a pretty sparkling performance from Desert Crown to give Sir Michael Stout a record seventh victory in the Dante, his first since Carlton House. 11 years ago. Richard Kingscote has ridden the Saeed Sahail, owned Colt by Nathaniel to victory, has beaten the Guineas 8th Royal Patronage, held up today with Bluegrass for Valley Doyle in third and Dark Moon Rising in fourth. Victory in the Dante for Sir Michael Stout and Richard Kingscote. It will be a popular success. This is a very good horse who is unbeaten now in two starts. This is first taste of Stakes Company and surely now he will head most lists for the Kazoo Derby at the beginning of June, Chris Dix. It's the kind of performance that you wanted to see from a Dante winner to make a, a real impact on the Derby market. He's won it in sparkling fashion, authoritative fashion, clearly the best horse in the race and with the possibility of better to come. He had them covered at every point and the way that he's stayed on in the latter part of the race, suggesting that the Derby trip is going to be within compass. He's still learning, he's still getting better, and I think he will progress from this. I'm really impressed with him, as most people will be. That final furlong and the way that he's pulled away from Royal Patronage, who's got really solid form, the front two well clear of, again, a pretty solid horse, I think, in third, and he's got more to give the winner. He's a big player for the derby, obviously. And whereas beforehand we spoke of Aidan O'Brien not favouring this as his derby trial of choice, Sir Michael Stout very much has favoured this as a derby trial of choice down the years. Sharistani and North Light, Carlton House, Tartan Bearer, the last three named, all went on to either win or be placed, and Workforce was second in Kate Blanco's Dante before going on to win the derby in that rout in 2010. So the timing suits perfectly for the master of Freemason Lodge. And for Richard Kingscote, this is an important moment in cementing his relationship, which is now a couple of years old with Sir Michael, with uh, Ryan Moore's increasing unavailability for rides like this. Richard Kingscote has just won the Dante on board Desert Crown for Sir Michael Stout. Congratulations. That was impressive on such an inexperienced horse. Yeah, he was. He was very straightforward, really relaxed took everything well today and I was pleased with him. Describe how the race panned out. Yeah, we went a sensible gallop. I ended up where I, I'd have liked to have just been behind Daniel, to be honest. And, but I didn't want to bustle him around early on, so I just accepted and got him 
where he was comfortable in a nice smooth smooth pitch and it just meant I had to move a little earlier up the straight but um, he responded very well and you know he's he done it nice. Green at the end or is it just first run of the season? Possibly still a little bit green we were there from the two pole by ourselves and you know it's a uh, it's a little busier than Nottingham would have been. So, <laughs> I'll you know, say. Yeah. As will Epsom be even busier than this, what do you think about the mile and a half and the track for him? He galloped out well. He's a very like, relaxed individual. I, mean, I don't see a mile and a half being a problem at all. Okay. Now, we're used to you riding Sir Michael Stout's most trusted projects these days, but yeah. this is what it's all about, isn't it? Races I'm like the Dante? Yeah, absolutely. Very like fortunate a, that I'm in this position. Team and I'm trusted to ride these nice horses and everyone at Sir Michael's been very welcoming and helpful from you know Ryan and James and Ted and all of the staff they you know been very helpful with me the last 18 months and it's much appreciated well it was fantastic to see here many congratulations Richard good luck for Epsom thank you Sir Michael Stout has just trained a record equaling seventh winner of the Dante. That horse was Desert Crown. Many congratulations, uh, Michael. First of all, it's great to have you back on the racetrack. It's really nice to see you. you. What did you make of that performance? It was very professional and uh, I, I, was, I was very pleased with him because he, he travelled well and, uh, and it's only his second race. Um, he's travelled well. And he's accelerated pleasingly. You have to be very happy with that performance. Some signs of inexperience in the latter stages. Well, as you, you would expect, you know, he's just just had the one race. Yeah, I, I thought it was impressive. And what did you think of the field coming into it? What were your feeling about about today? I thought it was a a, a strong Dante. Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't confident because I, I just felt we had only just got him up to a race, having had a, uh, a, a, a minor setback late February. Or, mm -hmm. yeah. So you were rushing him slightly to get him here? No, we didn't rush him. We, we, we had to take our time and he was only just ready to run now. So would you anticipate quite a large step forward then in that case? Well, he'll, he'll, he'll tell me, I don't know, maybe I got it all wrong. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> How about the mile and a half trip? Because it's the first time the dam's been put to Nathaniel, all the previous half siblings went yeah. to Archipenko. Listen, you've got to go and get it at Epsom, um, we'll find out. And you've trained, well, you've, I've just said that you've trained seven Dante winners now. Two of them have gone on to win the derby. One of them was beaten and went on to win the derby. Yeah. Has he got what it takes in your view? Well, I think he has to go there with a very sound chance. Yeah. The track balanced, balanced and, and, and happy enough with that? Well, he is a beautifully balanced horse, actually. So I'd be hopeful that he'd handle that aspect as well. And, and how are you, Michael? Have you missed have you missed the going racing as much as we as we missed you? Oh, that's very complimentary. <laughs> it is. I, mean, I think it's genuine. I mean, you still heard the reception around the the course after you had yeah. your trophy. Very kind. Very. Yeah, I was very very pleased and okay. grateful. Thank you. Well, it's nice to have you back. Thank you very much. Best of luck for Epsom. Thanks.